again. How's it going? Perfect. All right, hand it all over and let me do a little tinkering. Just gotta connect the Gozenta to the Gozauda and realign the doohickeys and... All right, Rangers, there you go. Your very own Radiation Angel containment device. Well, it will be once you connect it to the energy siphon I built in the cooling pool room. Hopefully, Iridium's far enough away from the siphon that she doesn't burn you to the ground before you get it hooked up. Oh, and take this. Just a few things you might find handy when you meet Deuterium face to face. Mostly it's salvaged from. There was this one time I converted a handheld. Go with the flow, Rangers! The of the infinite manifests in the here and now. Lo, bring it forth that I may festoon it with my virulence. again for rescuing me from the nucleists. I'm so happy to be back with my friends here beside the Proteus. <laughs> oh, Proteus, that's really sweet of you. And the Proteus also thanks you for rescuing me. They say they missed me. <laughs> you guys are the best. Uh, and great work capturing Iridium, Rangers. <laughs> Praise the glow. <laughs> the Proteus is really pleased. Deuterium will have to listen to you now. Uh, maybe he'll even agree to reunite with us. Uh, okay. Uh, the Proteus says you should take Iridium to the power storage facility elevator and see if Deuterium will open it for her, then ride down with her. Uh, after that, uh, well, listen, Rangers, uh, the Proteus and I... Uh, have I mentioned how we want to end our conflict with the Nucleus and make us all one again? <laughs> uh, well, thanks to your friend Theo Curie, there might be a way. Uh, see... Uh... Deuterium really wants to be a radiation angel so he can be with Iridium. Uh, but till now, it seems random how a person will mutate, <laughs> so he's been afraid. Well, Theo thinks he's found a way to choose how you change. Well, uh, figuring out the details of turning Deuterium into an angel <laughs> isn't going to happen overnight. Uh, Theo will have to do a lot of studying here, and maybe bring some colleagues. To achieve his dream, Deuterium would be forced to let them stay, and he'd finally have to see the value of staying connected with the world and abandon his isolationist, nucleus ways. He would become, once again, a primordialist. Uh, thank you, Proteus. I'll mention it. So, <clears throat> I'm sure it's already pretty clear to you, Rangers, uh, but Abbot Deuterium is as hard-headed and hide-bound as they come. He thinks we're not worth talking to, so imagine how he feels about total outsiders. 
Huh. Uh, this is just to warn you that it's not going to be easy to convince him of anything, or even get him talking. Uh, so the more you can do to get on his good side, the better. Uh, okay, that's it. Good luck. We'll all be praying for you up here. May the light of the glow shine upon you. of the apothecaries shall be met with devastation and filigree. She's losing her bubble, just like Goiter predicted. Chimaras!
Iridium, beloved, you return to me. Oh, thank the holy detonation. Quickly, my dear, to the platform. You'll be shielded there. Can you, brothers, to your power conduits so that you may receive her blessed energy? And do not leave your positions. Leaving a conduit unmanned could endanger Iridium. Already? Good. Then we will give these glowless fools a welcome they won't soon forget. Rangers, this is Father Bezor. And we can see on our monitors that Iridium has joined Deuterium in the Ritual Chamber and is moving to the charging platform. Uh, that might be, uh, fatal for you. In the state she was in before, she was fatal to everybody who got near her. On the charging platform, she'll only be fatal uh, to you. And I'm afraid Deuterium's going to use her to attack you. Maybe he'll listen to you if you got some glow on you and you talk fast. You did bring her back to him after all. But if you do have to fight, uh, well, <laughs> all I can say is good luck to you. Uh, may the glow... Commencing Experiment 42, Effects of Holy Radiation on the Common Domestic Pig. Blessed be the glow. Experiment complete. Subject experienced total cellular disassembly on the conduit. They also released a burst of holy radiation upon death, which fed back to the angel and hurt her. Further study on this phenomenon is required. Was it because the subject was unworthy of the glow's blessing, or merely incapable of receiving it? Hmm. Victorians. Why appertain to thy sylvan mendacity? Vouchsafe vain glory upon our divine interlocution. Ah, benign acquiescence is a theremin upon the soul, sequentially melodious. Declamations regalia. We cascade thy eternal ramification! Oh, 
save him. Heretic, I dare you.
eagles in dress rejoice in the ovation of the preternatural abasement. <laughs> the outsiders. I knew you wouldn't be long. I suppose you expect me to thank you for reuniting me with my love, Iridium. But I will not. You didn't do it for me. It's clear you have some vile plan for the holy detonation. A plan that fool the Proteus is too trusting to question. Well, I am no fool. Outsiders can never be trusted. The only good ones are dead ones. That's why I let you follow Iridium. So she can cleanse this place of you. Then finish what we started with the Primordialist before you so rudely interrupt it. Hmm. I see at least one of you has truly welcomed the glow of the holy detonation into their body. And is on the cusp of transcendence. So perhaps you are sympathetic to our cause. Speak then. How can you expect that when we don't even worship the same God? Oh, the Primordialists say they worship the Holy Detonation, but they don't. What they really worship is that big tub of giggling goo out there, which wants us all to dissolve our brains into its own mindless oatmeal muck. They want us all to be one when we could all be gods. And worse, they want to share. They want to allow outsiders to join us. Outsiders like you. They want everyone to enjoy the warmth of the glow, not just the pious. What makes you think we would ever want to reunite with fools like that? What? You mean so Iridium and I can... Is this some sort of cruel trick? Are you sweet-talking me to make me let down my guard? It's no trick, Abbott. I haven't figured out the details yet, but it should work. The data I've been able to find so far paints a clear picture of the processes of mutation, and what can be done to affect them. Give me time and access to Cheyenne's records and equipment. And I am almost certain I can give you what you want. Am I supposed to trust an outsider with my heart? My dreams? I... I need a guarantee. I need proof that you're not just tricking me. You need to put some skin in the game. Skin? Ha! <laughs> That's it! All right. I'll rejoin the Primordialists, if one of you joins us. Do you have someone willing to take part in a little ritual of initiation and transcendence? Hmm. Prayer. The taking of oaths. Basking in the holy glow. And as I said, transcendence. Through this ritual, you will be holier than you are now. Finer, closer to God, anointed. Hmm. Only one of you has welcomed the glow of the holy detonation into their bodies to the required extent. Are you certain they're willing to take this step? Excellent. Then let's begin. First, chosen one, the oaths. Do you good? Next, chosen one. Do you swear to defend? Wonderful. Third, 
chosen one. Do you swear to follow the orders of the leaders of the church in all things relating to the church? Fantastic! Then, finally, chosen one. Are you willing to participate in the ritual of holy transformation and transcendence and let the mutating pop exactly the proof we require that you're not just using us to get to the holy. We need the detonation's blessed glow to survive. So one of you should too. That way you won't fuck with it. So, ready to make a lifetime commitment? I... <laughs> I have to admit, I didn't expect you to agree. Very commendable. Step. Rejoice, O Seraphim and Cherubim, O Regolith and Hero Myth. Comes now the time of our cacophonous calamity. Brothers and sisters, an aspirant approaches. O oh, holy detonation, through the power you have invested in this, your faithful servant Iridium, grant transcendence and transformation to this, your newest, most humble servant, who leaves behind their old name, face, and memories to be born again in your light, Iridium. Let the power of the glow flow through you into this lost soul and make them seem whole and strong and new! We are the Alpha and the Omega, the Ostrogoth and the Astrolabe, the Anthropocene and the Paleogene, Pretender and Render Army. By the miracle of the glow of the holy detonation, they are transformed! Rise now, initiate, and rejoice in your new... I dub thee... Uh, let's see... I, I dub thee... Oh, there! The ritual is complete! Your companion has been blessed! And... More importantly, if you care for them, then you will have to care for the Holy Detonation, just as we do. Don't let Father Bezor hear you say that. In his eye, we will... May the Holy Glow protect you.
think you can watch you. Attention, Rangers.
Copy, November 1. Toes on the way. to work for the tribe. Well, mostly, but they'll make exceptions for exceptional talent. You've got that. Well, I appreciate the suggestion, but as soon as the Rangers finish this job for the Patriarch, I'm heading back to Arizona and my family. Thanks, Thanks Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, maybe... Maybe just go back to chit-chat. You don't mind? What do you need? We've had to make do with worse. Of course. Let's see if we can find what you want. What do you need, Rangers? I'll do. Have a seat. I don't mind not having uh -oh. a clean suture of festering wounds. Start saying the Rangers ain't shit, and when did they start recruiting midgets and like that? But then he says he's gonna prove we're all talk and no action. He takes out his gun and tells Ramon to give him all the money in the till. Like he's daring me to arrest him. Jesus, where'd you bury the body? It almost came to that, but fortunately, Muldoon came out of the shitter before I got my knife. Stay sharp. Hello, Rangers. Uh, um, permission to speak? I just wanted to say thank you again for saving my life. If you hadn't talked to Judge Watkins, well, I, I wouldn't be here. And, and I'm really happy to be here. I guess that's all. And, uh, Mom thanks you, too. Finish the repairs on the superhead. Great. Uh, what's the superhead? Not superhead. Superhead. The superhead for dying receiver. This will allow us to clean up and amplify our receive transmissions more effectively. Oh, we're finally fixing the vacuum for our lucky. Precisely. Since we aren't able to find any transistors in the
Okay, okay. Father Enola, you must let us pass. The minions of Cochise are not afraid of your bombs. Got a lot more elbow room now, huh? Not bad. Don't feel right about it, though, putting all those folks in the brig. Hey, it's clean in there. Something had to be done. True. Just not sure that was it. Rangers. Rangers. Here to serve. Steel Town's doom. Those workers refugees are causing a lot of tension here. Local folks resent. I need some help. It ain't hard to understand why. Thing is, refugees. Here to serve. Is, is this the Rangers? Uh, no, 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 it's just that. No, you know Rangers. he is Roger Mayhew, head of feature. I... I am also... At that moment, all the lights went out in the garden, and a harsh voice called out. No need for a bomb, ladies and gentlemen. We're only here for your valuables. And for all wearing infrared glasses, don't try to hide before he could finish. There was a smack, like a mallet striking a side of beef. And then, the sounds of a terrible scuffle in the dark. The lights returned, and even though the gangsters in red lens glasses strewn across the floor, a masked man standing in their middle, the fists raised. Roger, look! But Roger was nowhere to be seen. Glad to see you back, Rangers. Cleaned up the worst of the mess in your absence. Now, what can I help you with? Well, I've got for now some of these folks may be uh sure thing. Let's have a look. There you go. Anything else? Happy to... Sir? Oh, thank you. Now, what do you all want to know? Happy to. What's well, not sure thing. Let's have a look.
There you go. Anything else? I'll be here. Rangers. Now that the Rangers are here, I need some help. You're gonna find yourself Good job defusing that power. Hold in a lot of the in direction. I love it. There we go. I'm pleased you were able to rescue so many of your comrades in Aspen. Time to take some chances and expand man's horizons. I wonder if there will be conflict.
mortals in dress rejoice in the ovation of the preternatural of basement. <laughs> the outsiders. Well, I am no fool. Hmm. I'll see at least one of well, they want to allow outsiders to join us. Outsider, what? It's no chicken, Am I supposed to skin? Hmm. Prayer. Hmm. Only one of you has welcomed the glow of the holy detonation into their bodies to the required extent. Are you certain they're willing to take this step? Then we'll have to fight. Is that what you want? The tough cowards! Iridium! Seven! Destroy them! Rejoice in the ovation of the preternatural of basement. <laughs> the outsiders. Well, I am no fool. Hmm. How can you... Well, they want to allow outsiders to join us. It's no They're my skin. Hmm. Hmm. Only one of excellent. Good. Wonderful. Fantastic. Then, hey, we need the detonation's blessed glow. I... <laughs> I have to admit, I didn't expect... Rejoice, O Seraphim and Cherubim, O Regolith and Hero Myth. Comes now the time of our cacophonous calamity. Brothers and sisters, an aspirant approaches. 
Oh, holy detonation! Through the power you have invested in this, your faithful servant Iridium, grant transcendence and transformation to this, your newest, most humble servant, who leaves behind their old name, face, and memories to be born again in your life. Iridium, let the power of the glow flow through you into this lost soul and make them seem whole and strong and new! We are the Alpha and the Omega, the Astrogarth and the Astrolabe, the Anthropocene and the Pale Gene, Pretender and Render of oh. Ah, Dumpy! Oh. If you care for them, then you will have to care for the hope we will. You, we will meet with Bezor and the Proteus in the Holy Detonation's chamber and learn what your outsider friend Theo Turi can teach us. May the Holy Glow protect you. I am in awe of your sacrifice to allow one of your companions to be changed like that in order to bring the two sides of the cult together. That was above and beyond the call of duty. But the citizens of Colorado Springs will honor you for it for ages to come. Because that sacrifice will have brought the miraculous power of the holy detonation to their homes and made their lives and their children's lives better forever. This is it, Rangers. The moment we've been waiting for. The moment when we connect the detonation to the grid. I can hardly believe it. Here. Hopefully Cheyenne's conflicts are all in the past now, but... One never knows, so take this. Better safe than sorry. Now come. The others have gone in before us. Let's join them. Hurry!
Rangers? <laughs> ah, the Proteus says they're overjoyed you were able to convince Deuterium to reunite with us. I admit, I've missed you, Bezor. And you, Proteus. It was never war I wanted. I wanted you to join us. And we wanted you to join us. Well, I wouldn't have left if you hadn't. Uh, sorry, Proteus. <laughs> we'll stop. Yes. Sorry, Proteus. If that's what the Proteus wishes. <laughs> yes, the Proteus has been heartened by their dealings with you and Theo Curie, and feels more contact with the outside world would be beneficial to the church. They are happy to allow you to siphon some power from the holy detonation for Colorado Spring, and would welcome visits from other scientific... No! This is not how we said we would share the glow of the holy detonation! We said we were going to free it from its shackles and let it blossom. We said we were going to spread its glow from here to Kansas and beyond. Sister Pala, please calm down. You... Don't tell me what to do, you glad-handing fraud. You've broken your promises to the holy detonation. You all have. But I will set it free. Spontaneous mutation! It must be the proximity to the detonation! The Proteus absorbed her! It's getting larger! Oh no! The Proteus has gone mad with rage! And you are their target, Rangers! Until they're killed, you'll never be able to adjust the detonation's power output. But killing them won't be easy, for if the toughness of the tumor colonies is any indication, their body will be so robust, mere guns and explosives won't hurt them. See the heat sink reservoir over there? The base documentation says the canisters that lower its temperature contain pressurized cryofluid. If you raised them, then lured the Proteus near them and blew them up. The blasts might damage it. I believe the computers here on the central platform raised them. In a movie I saw once, they killed an amorphous blob by freezing and shattering it. Here, the cryofluid would freeze the Proteus. The canister shrapnel would shatter it. And if I remember the documentation correctly, more canisters are on standby to replace any broken ones. It would just take some time to refill them. I certainly hope so. We're all doomed!
cultists are charging the console that controls the holy detonation. If they wreck it, I fear the containment field will fail and the detonation will be freed. I am afraid it's become a war on two front creatures. Not only must you keep luring the Proteus to its icy doom, you'll have to stop those lunatics from unleashing a nuclear explosion. The only gleam of hope I can see is the possibility the cultists might lose heart when the Proteus dies and be too grief-stricken to continue. Good luck, Rangers. The fate of ourselves and our world is in your hands. No pressure, though.
You stopped them. What a sad outcome, Rangers. The Proteus was ready to welcome outsiders, but Polyp's rage infected them. I'm sorry to see them go. At least the detonation remained stable and unharmed, which allows us to resume our mission. Our mission stands. It's time to propel Colorado into the new age of energy. Let's begin. Hmm. That code is in the documentation I gave you. Uh, right. Uh, there. Also, here are the instructions for adjusting the detonation's time dilation field, which will also adjust its energy output. Excellent! Access granted! Now, you will see you have a range of parameters you can set, including some you shouldn't even consider. For example, shutting down the time dilation field completely. That would quite literally be the end of us. But increasing the passage of time by even the tiniest amount should be enough to give Colorado Springs all the power it needs, while at the same time not compromising the safety of the inhabitants of Cheyenne, or any more than it already is. Yes? That is more than enough to run the systems of this base. But not enough for any external uses. Try increasing it by another nanosecond. Lovely! That will be more than enough power for Colorado Springs. And to think, all it took was the nudging of a dial. Transferring partial power output to Colorado Springs power grid. Rangers, was that you? All the lights in the palace just flared and my heat lamp blew a fuse. I'm getting power surge reports from all over the city. What are you doing? Sir. It's Theo Curie. The Rangers have been helping me with that proposal I brought to you some months back. The one where I asked for backing to search for a power source in the old Cheyenne Mountain military facility. Do you remember? I remember telling you I'd get back to you about it. It sounds like you didn't wait. Uh, no, sir. But the results have been spectacular. With the Rangers' help, I've secured the source. And, as you are now aware, we have successfully connected it to the Colorado Springs energy grid. We have more power here than we will ever need. Well, that sounds like good news, but I'd like a second opinion. Rangers, what do you think of this power source? Is it all that Theo Curie says it is? Excellent. It's good to have all systems at full power again, now that we're not getting the Gipper's oil. My people have been without electricity for far too long. Thank you, Rangers. Knowing Theo, I've no doubt you were instrumental in bringing this plan to fruition. I, and Colorado Springs, owe you a debt. Good work. And Theo, are you there? Uh, yes. Sir? Well done, son. I'm sorry now I listened to Elijah Ward after you brought me your plan. I should have trusted you. If you have funds on you, pay the Rangers for their help. I'll reimburse you when I give you your reward. Yes, sir. Happy to. And good job to all of you. You can it out. Well done, Rangers! 
With the power from the holy detonation, Colorado's future is secured. Just wait until Elijah Ward hears about this. He'll eat his telescope sideways. Thanks again, friends. I'm going to stay here and continue studying the detonation. There's so much yet to learn. Safe travels. The old jury better know what he's talking about. Now, Colorado's queens will feel the blessings of the holy detonation. Right now, defenders of the world. Captains to the hell. Sail across the sea of war. Proteus said you could hook up the holy detonation to the grid, so go ahead. job bringing the peas in it. Shame about the Proteus though. Everything's in good shape. Not too hot, not too cold, if you get my drift. Ward. You lunatics. I can tell by the brightness of my lights that you went through with Theo's plan and tapped the nuclear energy source in Cheyenne Mountain. That is most disappointing. I understand how tempting it must have been to take what looked like free power, but I assure you, power... We may be warmer here in Colorado Springs because of this. Our homes may be brighter, but we will not be safer. For the threat of nuclear destruction will always loom over us as long as that bomb, or whatever it is, can be reached by evil hands. I'm sure Theo is happy with you, but I am furious. You will get no reward from me, and no support either. You damn fools. So long, Rangers. You didn't kill everybody for once! Only almost everybody! Amazing! Hope that sweet, sweet power was worth it, assholes. Bye! Of 
Razor blades. Mm, left over from our ancient past. Upon playing with them, I soon became bloodied as my skin tingled with the sweet release of pain. Desiring to bring this joyous feeling to others, I carved little handles for my razors from animal bones I'd collected, perfecting a beautiful set of hundreds of tiny, unique, lovingly crafted knives. Should we ever meet out in the real, I'd be happy to introduce you to each and every one of my lovely little 